All righty, so it would appear in our last construction update, we missed quite a bit of things sitting right in front of our face. So from now on, I'm going to super zoom these pictures in and explore them further before I do a construction update. So I just want to quickly apologize for missing these things in the original update, but I'm going to make a quick video today to go over what we missed. So if you look at the station, you can see the three prong um, gate that dive coasters have or floorless coasters as well. And it opens as the train's about to leave the station. Um, so that's right there. You can see it kind of reflecting in the sun um, out of the pullout of the station. Um, you also have what looks like a building or some buildings being built around Mindbuster and the turn of the station. You'll get a better view of that in a bit. Um, but you can see some work going on around Mindbuster's entrance to the queue where there used to be kind of like a mini bar. Um, that looks like it is now removed and maybe they'll bring in something more permanent and Canadian themed. Um, but yeah, this is starting to shape up to be pretty awesome. There's some close up shots also of other things on the site. Um, you're also getting a closer up shot of this weird kind of like box that's like right at where the turn hits the lift hill. And it's kind of right where this kind of like kind of valley that they dug out leads towards Mindbuster. And I'm thinking, and it, this might be a wild guess. And again, this is just a guess and a prediction, um, but there might be some sort of waterfall that leads into a river uh, with stonework. But that's just a guess. Um, here is just them digging out a ton of land. This is a pretty big open plot of land in between Yukon Striker and Splashworks. It could be one of the bigger buildings in Frontier Canada if it's going to be a building, but they've been digging that up for about a good three weeks now. Now what's interesting here is if you look closely, you can see that there's a bit of a path or opening in the fence there, the fence line along the left side of the path there, um, right where that support goes over the path into the Whitewater Canyon side. There's a little bit of a break in the fence and like a turn in there. Um, it could be a building. I don't think it's a path because it's got nowhere to go. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking maybe a little building, there's going to be some gift shops or some shops of some sort, like an ice cream parlor, maybe even something themed to Yukon. Um, I do think down the road, and this is something that I've been thinking for some time that, uh, the Halloween haunt maze they have going through Whitewater Canyon could be turned into like a forbidden frontier type adventure, um, style attraction down the road, maybe in 2020, 2021, but that's a wild guess. Um, but I've just been thinking that it's a perfect plot of land. It's on a little miniature island and they could do kind of like a smaller version to what Cedar Point is launching this year with that plot of land. Um, that being said, there is some weird contraption next to the pull out of the zero G roll. Um, I don't know what it is. Some people on my team are thinking maybe cameras, but I don't think the cameras are going there. I think the cameras are either going in that second tunnel or the second drop. Um, so maybe just some theming. There is a drill on site, as you saw, in where they were digging. They were digging um, with the tool they normally dig footings with. So that was a little strange. Now, if you look at this photo, I'm going to zoom it in even more. Now, the quality every time I zoom in does get worse. So that is why the pictures are kind of blurry. I apologize for that. But if you look next to the two trees next to the pole out of the station, just near the beginning, uh, the turn of the station, you'll notice a weird kind of structure. It looks very water tower-ish. Um, so yes, that's where the water tower is definitely going. The water tower base is installed. It's right there by the two trees. Um, and then also what's interesting is a cement foundation and weird activity going from where Frontier Canada's path starts to where the turn of the station is. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what that ends up being. Uh, again, they did some digging um, from that weird contraption um, where the lift hill begins all the way to there. So it could be a miniature pond where the river and waterfall will lead to. It could be a building. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on yet. I need to see more kind of take shape. But here's a super zoomed in shot. You can now make out very clearly where the water tower is going to go. And this weird area that I'm talking about and the weird contraption um, sitting right there. Now, from this angle, it looks like it's just meant for the staircase, but it is actually a very far distance from that staircase. There's a big uh, gap in between there. It's not holding up the staircase. It's a separate cement um, kind of foundation. I'll see if I still have the photo that Grace Peacock sent me um, from our last tour. I think it's in that photo where it's located. Um, but nonetheless, it's looking really cool. There's some decal going on the station as well. It seems very similar to Leviathan. It's got these wooden X's on it. 
um, on the base. So uh, that's going to be interesting. But I just wanted to show you guys really quickly where some theming's going and some things we missed in our last update. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this really quick update on Yukon Striker and its theming. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.